This customer had a question. We received a battery cabinet um, with our order for the batteries, um, Duraflex uh, cabinet. I guess one of the issues that we were having is the system is going to be in the garage. We got to install it to where it doesn't impede in the parking space. So we tried running it through plan check and we tried pulling up, uh, you know, setting it up so uh, the equipment will be protected from the vehicles. Um, but in doing that, we lost the parking space. So one of the options uh, they mentioned to us was just install the equipment above 48 and we kind of resolve everything. Unfortunately, when I opened up the Duraflex cabinet and, and looked at it and kind of reviewed the options of how it can go, it's only a ground mount. And at this point, installing a shelf for that for, you know, 800 pounds in case they want to add more batteries, it's just kind of out of the question. So what I'm pretty much doing now is I'm mounting the batteries individually on the wall around the inverter. And I have maybe, a, I have a space where I can put a, a combiner cabinet for those batteries. And I have about 33 inches of wall space left. And then we have the inverter here. And those are the mounts pretty much where I was planning on putting the batteries. And then next to it, you know, I have this wall space here where I was planning on putting the battery cabinet or the combiner cabinet um, for that. Do those brackets there allow enough spacing between the batteries? I'm not sure what the E-Flex spacing looks like. I have about seven inches, seven inches from the inverter where the battery is going to stop and here and then it's, this is kind of where it starts right here. I'm looking at the 500 slash 50. The midnight battery combiner that's rated at 500 amps. That's the one. And that one looks like if you put it vertical, it's 22 inches wide by 35 deep. So he said he has 33 inches to work with. So if you flipped it 90 degrees, you could sit that in there like that. Could you do that? Yeah. In the manual for these, it says clearance of one inch around the E-Flex battery is required. Oh yeah, that's nothing. Usually I use the 1000 slash 100 or whatever that's called. I like it over the 1000 because it's cheaper, it's smaller and there's there's no chance of pulling more than 500 amps. Why would you need the 1000 amp one? If you had four inverters and 12 batteries, you'd, you'd use the midnight MNBCB 1000 slash 100 for 1000 amps. All right, you're back, we see you. Yeah, right on. We pulled up a spec sheet for the midnight battery combiner while you were out. We flipped it 90 degrees, but it, if you put it like this, it's 22 inches wide. The other dimension is 35 and you said you only had 33 inches. So if you flip it, you, you could put it like that when it'd be two, 22 inches wide. That'd be perfect. The only big consideration there with the lithium combiner is that all those battery to combiner cables need to be the same size and the same length. And it might be one of those weird things where you know, these two batteries are closer to the battery combiner than these two batteries are further away. But regardless, you know, the closer batteries need to have the same cables as the further away batteries so that all the batteries are connected to the battery combiner with cables that are the same length. So what if I move that one over there on top of here and keep, that'll keep the same length of cable? Oh my God, it would be so much better off like long term because look at that battery we have perched right over the top of the heat vents of that thing where all the convective heat's just going to make that battery hotter than the other three and then they'll get out of balance and no one will know why. But yeah, if there's, there's a heat issue or whatever, you know, what you're saying in the long term, you slap it over here, keep the, keep the cable lengths the same and we should be golden, right? Yeah. Schwa, would you do something more where you stack the batteries two and two just so they're more symmetrical or? Oh, I don't care anything about symmetrical. I care about they're all the same temperature and the wires all the same length. Okay, so scooting that one just over to the blank spot and then put the battery combiner under it. Yeah, that would look sick. Well then, seems like that is a good way to move it forward. I'll send you a link to this battery combiner. I'll see if Zach can quote it. I'm not sure if we sell them, but I'll ask him if he can get it. Does that keep you moving forward for the day then? That'll keep us moving. And now I have a better understanding of you know, what to do over here. So we should be good with that. 